Hi, good morning. Welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ancora, where we do spooky videos all year round. Anything from Halloween hauntings to Halloween DIYs and even Halloween artwork because I do enjoy to draw. So get in witches. We're going Halloween shopping. If you are new here, please consider subscribing because I love to see this community grow and leave a comment down below letting me know who you are. Introduce yourself because I love talking to you all. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because that helps too. But what we have planned today is my really cute bat top that I got from Collective. I can link that down below, but it's mesh and I'm just wearing it over a black um, spaghetti strap type dress and it's real cute and I love the velvet collars. They're like bat wings on the collars. Sorry, there's those big metal plates and I'm driving over them. And then in my hair, I have little bat wings. Very, very cute, very festive. I love it. I'm very excited. But what we have planned today is I am going to be going to Target. There's a rumor that some of their stuff is starting to come out. They have been leaking slowly some stuff in their dollar spot that I've picked up here and there. You can see those items over on my Instagram. That will be down below in the link of wonders. Um, but yeah, not anything too exciting to do a whole video about. Just a couple things I found and took pictures of and put them over on Instagram. Um, so make sure you guys check that out and I'm really excited to go over to Target because they actually released these velvet dresses and I ordered one for in-store pickup. Um, they had a bunch of color options but I ended up going with the orange one because I have a lot of black and I just kind of wanted to throw in some color for the spooky season. So we're going to go pick that up and then while I'm there, we're going to go see what Halloween stuff they have. I'm really excited for it. I've been considering looking at Michael's again. Um, last time I went, it looked like they had everything out, but maybe they put out some more stuff or like some little filler things. They didn't have their vintage line yet though, so maybe I'll go see if they have the vintage line. I think, I think that's everything that we're going to be looking at today. Um, if I have some extra time, maybe I'll find another store to go to. I am no longer visiting at home because all of their stuff is pretty much sold out. They don't have anything new. It's just tiny bits and pieces of what's left. So I'm not going to be looking at at home anymore. Um, I pretty much got everything that I wanted from their collections this year. I was hoping that they had more in their Spellbound collection, but unfortunately didn't, they didn't release any more than what we had already seen. Um, I was just, I don't know. I was maybe hoping for some more cauldrons or crystals or moons or something. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, also the giveaway that I posted a few weeks ago, I did um, announce those winners over on my TikTok and my Instagram. So if you want to see who won, go ahead and check that out over there. Again, that's down below in my link of wonders. And then um, if you did win, though, I reached out to you. So you'll know if you won. I did ship those out today. Wow, I've gotten so many compliments on my outfit. That's so exciting. I like it too, it's super cute. But, so we just went to Target. Let me back out here. And they finally had some Halloween stuff. Now I was told they were gonna release it September 12th in my area. It is the 14th, so they did not lie, finally. I feel like I've been lied to a lot this year. They did not lie finally, um, which was really exciting. So we saw a lot of really fun things. The dollar spot area didn't have anything particularly new, but yeah, 
Well, we can go ahead and go through some of the stuff. I was looking for these metal haunted houses. Rumor has it, Target has a, a few of them that are only 10 bucks each, which is the cheapest I have ever seen in a haunted house, um, like ever. They're usually really expensive around my area. So they did, they only had one of them here. So I will go ahead and show that one, but I'm driving over to another location where one of the employees told me they had some more of them. Um, Cause I, I asked her to scan the barcode and stuff for me. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go over there and let's see what, they had so many fun things. It's, it's kind of overwhelming and a little bit hard to remember, but I'm gonna try my best. So when you walked over to it, they had all of their stuff sitting up. They have like this fruit jack-o'-lantern thing that they're coming out with this year. Um, a lot of Halloween YouTubers and enthusiasts are assuming it's because Summerween blew up this year. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's kind of weird and out of place. If they sold those over the summer, I feel like they would do a lot better, but I don't know. Some people do like Tiki Halloweens and stuff. I've heard of that. Um, yeah, so they had a bunch of those different varieties of them. They had their little knickknacks, like the gift bag items. So you could put in, uh, what is it? Like the little pencils and the little erasers. I bought a bunch of these skull head erasers last year, but they were in more pastel tones. This year they have them in more black and orange, which I do like that color palette a lot more than the pastel ones from last year. Um, so I did pick up a pack of those just to add to my erasers. And then um, they had the other stuff like the pencils, the notebooks, the little fake glasses, they had the sticky bugs, just little gift bag stuff. Um, they also had all of the pumpkin carving items. And then, then their decor area is actually coming out with some really cool things. They had their ghoul garden stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> they had this one. It was the cutest thing ever, but it was a little pumpkin that had the, like the Venus flytrap sticking out of it. And they would sing and dance and... almost took it home but I have no idea where I would put that or if I would get annoyed with it I feel like the cuteness would wear off fairly quickly um <laughs> they also had the cool garden and the terrarium case so like the black and black metal with glass and then like the flowers in it they had a wreath that matched it it looks like they're supposed to have some free flowers that you can put into arrangements and stuff but they didn't have any left and they had they had a few other things on that line I'll go ahead and show that oh they had this night that was really really funny I always wanted to be a brave knight when I grew up looking back maybe I should have been a firefighter instead They had this cat one, but his head was missing, so I didn't play it. And they had this big um, gnome or gnome dome-looking case that. Um, oh man! Yeah, they had this big dome-looking case that had some cute little feats on it and a little bat on the top, and that was only ten dollars. Now, granted, the dome is not glass. It's made out of plastic, which is fine. Like it all looks the same, but I was actually really impressed with the size of it for only 10 bucks because I have a few other of these dome displays and they're really expensive. Like it's $15 just to get a little one, um, but they're usually made out of glass. I kind of like the plastic idea better just in case you drop it, but that was pretty fun too. Um, they had these ghouls that hang up, um, like the skeleton guys with the cloth draped around them. 
and those played sound. I think one of them lit up, one of them was like, been through a few there, and then another one of them was really, really funny because he was like, Woo! and he moved his shoulders around and. getting creative with the Halloween stuff this year. I absolutely love it. Um, more humor to it rather than like creepy, even though I love the creepy. I also like to see the humor side of it as well. Um, let's see here. What else do they have? They had all kinds of things. Oh, some, there are some other things I played with. I was pushing all of the buttons. Um, they had the the ghost bowl, I've seen this a lot, the ghost bowl with the LED lights. Um, he says a few phrases and his lights blink, which I thought was really cute. They had their boneyard and they had these really big like life-size skeletons. And then they have like unicorn skeletons, dog skeletons, bat skeletons, you know, the whole boneyard situation. They had a lot of pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Target definitely has a really good grasp on the uh, jack-o'-lantern. Concept. They always have a ton of them. Um, they had these big metal lanterns that you could put lights in, in. and they also had um, these little metal cars that were Halloween themed. Like they had like coffins and stuff on the top of them. I think they're supposed to go with the metal house, metal haunted house area. Um, tombs out. Oh, they had a lot of tombstones. So they had the plain. Um, styrofoam ones with their little sayings on them and then they had these other two that lit up so those are a lot of fun oh they had many of the ghouls the little version of the skeleton ghoul guys those lit up which I thought was cute they don't sing or anything but they do light up and yeah that's all I can remember offhand uh, when I get home I will show you everything I purchased. We are headed over to the other Target right now to try and get our hands on these haunted houses. I really want to add one to my collection this year and a $10 haunted house sounds like a really great idea. That's probably why they're going out so fast is because everyone else is selling them for five times that price. So we're going to go ahead and see. second target did have all three haunted houses um which was super exciting i got the mansion one because that is the silhouette that i like the most and then i ran over to my bowls yeah so i ran over to my bowls they didn't have a whole lot of new stuff they had some, like those uh, fake stacks of books that says potions and spells and stuff on it. They had a couple new versions of those. Um, one of them had like a skeleton on the top or like a skull on the top of it. Another one had a beetle on it. They had these LED black and white striped candles that I have been looking for. So I grabbed a set of those and they had 
these really cool pumpkins with beetles on them, the gold beetles, which I absolutely love. They had a green and then a black. So I ended up getting those. They had this snake um, candle holder, which was beautiful. I loved it and I really think it would have matched my aesthetic, especially with the black and the gold and then the snake. Um, which I have a lot of like snakes and critters and stuff in my hallway. But the issue is that <laughs> they were $30 each. Oh my God. And then I would need to buy two and that's $60 on candle holders. Like it's ridiculous. So I didn't end up getting them. Maybe I can figure out, oh, figure out a way to DIY it at another point. They were really pretty. I wish that I could justify spending that, but it's just, I have a hard time spending that much money on two things. So, especially if it's just decoration stuff that's gonna sit there, I'd rather pay for something cheaper because it just sits there. If it's something I'm gonna use, then yeah, I'll spend the money on it because it's gonna get a lot of use, but if it just sits there, see why I'd be $60 for two of them. So even on sale, I think it would have been $40, but that's still a lot, especially since I got some candle holder things at home and then they were only 10 bucks each. So it's like twice the price. But I will go ahead and show other things that I saw at Michael's. There wasn't anything new. I tried to um, find their little like pumpkin so I can make a little spooky cemetery, but it was gone. It was all sold out. Like all their spooky houses were gone and everything. They didn't have them, which I'm surprised because their Halloween stuff, Halloween town stuff is usually out all year or not all year, but for the two months, the whole season out all season is what I'm thinking of is they're usually out all season. Um, yeah, they didn't even have the display ones up. So we might have to hit up another Michaels to see if maybe it's just that one in particular. Um, but I'm over here at Dollar Tree now. We're going to see if they have anything. Okay, hi. So we're back at my house. Um, Michaels did not have what I was looking for. The little pumpkins and stuff were all sold out. Um, Dollar Tree was the saddest thing I've ever seen. I'll put that clip in here. There's literally nothing left. When I say Halloween is selling out so fast this year, I mean it. And this is a really good example of what I mean. Like there's nothing left. If you're, if you're waiting until October to buy Halloween decorations, I'm sorry. I don't think you're going to get it, especially if you live in my area, which is Utah. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I did get today. So here is that orange dress I was talking about earlier. It's like a velvety ribbed pattern. You're very cute. It'd be really cute with this over the top of it. Not Halloween decor related, but Halloween fashion related. Okay. So from Target, I picked up the metal spooky house here. And then this guy lights up. Just like that. Very cute. It was definitely on my wish list for this year. I wanted a metal house. And then this is the mansion one. And they have two other styles you can get. Let's see here. Kind of all scattered. Okay, and then the dome thing I was talking about, it's called a gloche, I guess. Only $10 for this. It's massive. I wanted the little pumpkins to put inside that to make a little cemetery, but they didn't have any left. And then I bought two of the tall LED wax candles, two of the short ones, and then here are the potion bottles that I got. So Night Owl Elixir, Toxic Brain Juice, and Spider Venom, which I see a lot. Spider Venom is really popular. So I think that's everything I got from Target. 
And then from Michael's, I did end up getting some stuff from the dollar store though. So from Michael's, I got a wreath because I'm going to do a DIY eyeball flower wreath. I bought the black beetle pumpkin and I also bought the green one. I love these. And I also bought these stripy tower candles um, from the dollar store. I bought the eyeballs for the wreath and a bunch of different kinds of black and gold ribbon because that will match what I'm creating. And then I also got some black candles. And then I ran over to Spirit. They didn't really have anything new from the last time I went there. So if you missed the video from Spirit, I'll go ahead and link it up here so you can see that stuff. But I ended up picking up these Sam socks and the Sam pins and patch. I have a jean jacket that I have a collection of pins and patches on. Like I kind of just want to fill it up with pins and patches. It's something that I really like doing and it showcases everything I like. Um, I also got one of those surprise baggies. I got Beetlejuice in it, which is also super fun. And then I went over to a store called Five Below. They finally had their Halloween stuff out. So I got bleeding candles. I think it'd be fun to melt these down until the red starts showing. And then from there, it would just be decor. They had their spooky trees. These were only three bucks. So I ended up buying four of them and they're pretty big. I really like them. And they had one of those bat wreaths. Michael's has one of these, but it's super expensive. Only $4. It's just as bad as my outfit. So that is going to be part of my cauldron thing. My theme. Everything is kind of all piled up. Okay, so I picked up four of those spooky trees. And then they also had some Halloween pajamas. I will insert the footage for um, Five Below here. Because they had some t-shirts. Um, they had these, the pumpkin lanterns, and then these stackable pumpkins, and it's all very, very cheap. So if you're on a budget, it's a good place to go. And then they had these cute Jack Lantern sweatpants. They also had the matching shirt. Then they had a skeleton version with the matching shirt. And then they had a bunch of metal signs. Um, I got the welcome to our haunted home or something like that. I already put it outside, but that's the one that I got. And they also had a witch and a cat, I believe. So I will go ahead and put that footage in here. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I'm pretty sure that's all the stuff that I got. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining today. Um, I think I prefer this more casual vlog style haunting videos. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit um, thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you are new here and until next time keep on spooking all you ghouls and spooking ears. Bye